Hey everyone, this is Crystal from VintageBoothPro.com. Thought I would share some sales from last week and give you a little booth update. And I uh, thought I'd come to you from outside since we're having some really nice weather in North Atlanta, in the suburbs of North Atlanta. Um, so anyways, last week has been really slow. I did finally make rent. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have made rent at this point. It is um, just October 23rd, so hopefully you have by now. And I have just barely made rent. It has been super slow this October. I was hoping for um, some really great sales because it's Q4. And, uh, you know, Q4s are our time to shine. But it has just not been reflected like that for me. And it's a lot of the same in my group I'm seeing. Some people are having really awesome months. And some people, it's just slow. And that's just how it goes. If you're not a member of our group, head over to Facebook after you watch this video. And uh, join our group. It's just Vintage Booth Pro on Facebook. And answer a couple questions and I will let you in. So my booth is filled to the absolute brim right now, and I will tell you why. I shared this with my group. Um, I did a sidewalk sale, is what they called it, last Saturday at my um, antique store. And what they did, they're just testing it out. Um, it's $5. Well, the, the bidding starts at $5 to get a spot in this outside sidewalk sale. They call it that, but it's they don't want it to look like garage sale flea market they want it to look fancy so they said we have the right to refuse anything you put outside and so i went all in on this idea um the first week they just did it in october the first week and only one vendor did it and talking to the the booth owner or the um the store owner they said they sold a really big piece and ended up being really good for them so I was kind of encouraged. I'm like, I'm going to use this opportunity to clean up my garage, get all my furniture done, and um, just try it, you know? Why not? Try something once. And so all last week, I worked so hard. I actually hurt my back. I'm in chiropractor care now. <laughs> um, and I'll share some pictures of what it did. I um, advertised it as a vintage furniture pop-up sale instead of a sidewalk sale because that gives the appearance of flea market or guard sale um there were two other vendors with me and they went one went all in on just emptying her booth out and marked down her all her fall items which is really smart and the other one just had some stuff from her booth um she didn't have as much as me but they both did better than me but really no one sold more than 50 dollars. i mean it was just the worst experience i had such high expectations i advertised and pushed and pushed and pushed on facebook um but just i'll share some pictures i thought it looked really really cool um but uh yeah just, i think it's awkward for the booth owner to have to be there all day and be talking to people and uh, people just weren't used to it it was just it was just out of the norm and it didn't work. It didn't work at all. And with my mom guilt, I hated leaving my family. My eight year old son actually helped me make some of the tags and you can see his world's cutest handwriting that I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this tag forever. Um, but it was so much work, did not result in any, I mean, okay. I sold maybe $14 worth outside um they ran to get lunch for us which i paid nine dollars for and then five dollars for the booth fee so um my advice try if there's something your store is doing try it it will you know up your presence in the store owner's eyes um but have a lot of smalls so i don't know i just and i also gave up early because i gave up at like i was there from 10 to probably five and I had two more hours, which could have, you know, that there's the possibility that that could have resulted in more sales. But what I did, I just packed everything up and put it back in my booth, what would fit. So anyways, at this point, and I put a few more Christmas things in since then, I'll share it with you now. Um, but yeah, it was, my booth is so full now because of that. So I just wanted to explain why you can barely walk through my booth if you happen to go see it. And I'll share some pictures here now. Okay, as you can see, my hopes were so high. I recorded this. I just had a little bitty spot, but I finished a 100-year-old church pew and several other pieces, and I even brought every local t-shirt out and marked it down to $10 each. So I had a lot of fun doing it, um, just talking to everyone, but resulted in literally zero sales.
So here's the quick rundown of what sold last week. It was $198. I sold 20 items. 17 of those were under 20. Two items from 20 to 40 and one item over 40. Super slow, but like I said, I did finally make rent. I hope you made rent as well. And here are the individual items. If I have pictures, I'll share them with you here. First of all, starting off very small, I have marked down all my Halloween. So this pink pumpkin and silver pumpkin both sold for $1 each. And then I'm pretty sure it's the kind of a little bit bigger silver pumpkin sold for $3. Sold one sticker for $1 and one pewter piece for $1. So next up, my first Christmas piece that sold this little metal reindeer for $4. This nutcracker ornament, um, I believe it's this big mercury glass piece, um, sold for $5. Um, something wood board, I have no idea what that is, sold for $5. Two hometown stickers sold for $5. And this black pumpkin with a lid sold for $5 and that had been marked down on clearance. So next up is the, a mug for $5. I don't know which mug, but I just put these out. And one sold the next day. I kind of assume it's the Starbucks mug because um, that's just pretty cool. Um, this is not a great picture, and I just didn't get a picture of it, but it's this beautiful butterfly tray sold for $10. Um, some pompous stems. Um, I have them at $6 each. And these are left over from my parents' um, 50th anniversary party. So I purchased them for about the same price. I'm just trying to sell just to make back what I got for them. So two stems sold for $12. A cake stand. I have no idea what, what that is. Sold for $12. I know what it is. I just don't have a picture of it. And I don't know which one. Uh, this cast iron reindeer sleigh sold for 12 If you remember, I had a booth. I, I had opened a separate booth um, back in the summer. And a lot of these Christmas items are items that did not sell from that booth. And I have marked them way, way down just to try to get them moved um, before the season really gets going. Um, last, or next is a candle holder for $12. And I'm truly not sure which one that is. And this big, beautiful Georgia coffee mug sold for 15 And I have just really enjoyed finding coffee mugs, but this, and I always enjoy finding unique Georgia items. And um, this one was missing for a long time. So it had gotten misplaced in the store, I think. And when it was re returned to my booth, it literally sold the next day. Next up, this Sears scale sold for $20. I found it at a yard sale for $3. And it was so nasty. I had to scrub and scrub and scrub, but it turned out really crusty and rusty. So I really like how it turned out. And uh, so it sold for 20. Um, another, the last group of my pompous stems sold um, for $24. So I think they bought out all of them. I should have grouped all those together. Um, anyways, and then the last, the biggest thing that sold was this beautiful oval side table for $45. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what sold videos, I have a whole playlist that I will share here. And uh, be sure to jump over to our Facebook group and please do me a huge favor and like and subscribe and continue watching. I appreciate you so much and thanks again.